What's up guys? So I'm going to do a quick little unboxing video for you guys today. Uh, what we have is a brand new LiPo. It's not quite released yet. It is a Hobby King product, a Trinity product. So take it out of the box and packaging here. Okay, so wow, that's nicely packaged. Um, there's the box. It is a Turnigy Graphene uh, lithium polymer battery as far as I know. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up. So we've got, it looks like two little magnetic tabs there to help, just help close the box and keep it uh, shut. Uh, standard, looks like a standard LiPo warning label here. So uh, I would say, yeah, do not puncture handling and storage, all that. So sort of, um, you know, take care of this as you would a regular light bulb. Keep going. So, wow. So here's the light bulb itself in this uh, velvet case here. Take that out. So very nice packaging, sort of like opening up an iPhone or a Galaxy product or, you know, nice, uh, nice set of headphones. Um, so I really like the, the color scheme, the, the graphics, the logo. Uh, again, this is a Turnigy Graphene 2200 4S 65C pack. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, it is uh, feels like a substantial, uh, rather beefy pack here. Um, we've got, wow. So it's 10 gauge wiring with an XT60, which is a little bit different. Um, XT60 is of course good for 60 amps and uh, 10 gauge though is well over 100 amps so sort of an interesting choice there but definitely feels like a premium product now what the heck is graphene is it something you know Pete Sampras used on his racket to beat Boris Becker 25 30 years ago at Wimbledon uh, no it's graphene is a little bit different chemistry I think it was only proven maybe five six years ago I uh, believe they use sulfur in it i don't know if this actually has graphene in it i should say uh but maybe it's inspired by graphene or has some elements of that but uh, like i say it was first sort of tested and recognized uh, about five six years ago so that's a pretty short turnaround time um what else can we say and so again going back to the size if you have you know something that's a little bit of a tight squeeze you might just want to be aware because I can tell just by looking it is a little bit larger and heavier than a you know standard 4s 2200 so what I'm gonna do is put it on the scale here Hopefully that comes out. So there's the LiPo. Again, 4-cell 2200 pack. And so definitely 289 grams. So um, definitely a little bit bigger than your standard 4S pack of this size. You know, you're looking typically, especially in the, uh, you know, 45C and up, 65C, you know, 240, 250, 55 grams. So it's a good 30, 40 grams heavier, so just be aware of that. Again, um, quite a substantial pack, but really nicely packaged. And uh, I should mention the other thing with the uh, graphene, just the initial reports that have come out. People have had these for a few months testing them. Um, one of the benefits is the number of cycles you can have. Um, I've heard, you know, well over 500 cycles with little to no degradation in performance and uh, you know cell balance that type of thing so uh, that is definitely one of the advantages uh, is is the longevity of the pack um, but it should provide uh, a lot of power which a lot of people are going to be looking for in this type of premium product so what I think that we're going to do is uh, maybe just give uh, one of these bad boys a run up in something I've got lying around maybe a ducted fan um, not much flying around these parts this time of year but uh, Let's see if we can uh, at least get some results. So there you go, there's the unboxing of the Graphene LiPo. Okay guys, so obviously we have something here. This is a uh, Great Plains L39. We just sort of uh, hauled it out of cold storage. 
uh, so we can do a little run up and, and watt meter check and, and the power check, see what time of uh, numbers the graphene actually puts out. Um, so this is very, it's a, it's a mini plane. It uses a Great Plains 56 millimeter uh, fan unit with their in-runner motor. I think it's something like 32 or 3400 kV. I do fly it on four cell. Uh, looks like the previous uh, owners have um, put some fiberglass cloth on the leading edges here just to give it a bit more stiffness and it flies really nicely. Uh, you can hand launch it, you know, over 90 mile an hour. Uh, I, I usually fly it on a four cell 1800 45 C pack, which comes in at about 200 grams. So I figured the, um, the 2200 is just going to be a little bit too much. I don't think it would work in this plane. It's not really designed um, to, you know, to be used in, in this small plane anyway. So what I'm going to do is use sort of the, uh, the smaller, this is a 1300, um, you can see that that's a graphene 1300 milliamp 4S 65C pack instead. So really nice pack. It is a little bit bigger, just like the other one, uh, than a standard, uh, 1300 pack. Um, but again, it's 65C really nice, uh, 12 gauge wiring on this one XT 60. So let's, uh, see if we can get some numbers here. buzz so we've got hopefully it sort of comes out um, 16.7 volts so it's not quite full on the trusty watt meter here and let's see if we can get some results for you a lot of noise a little bit of ringing in the ears that's okay um, so on that run that little run we used 96 milliamps um, not sure how clear that's gonna be um, I think it was around 32 amps or something like that 490 watts peak um, maybe close to 500 so that's really really good that was a lot of thrust um, normally uh, like I say I fly it on the 4 cell 1800 45c uh, I think last time I tried it, uh, it was about 450, 460 watts. So this one's actually a little bit more out of a smaller pack. So really good numbers thus far. Um, hopefully in the springtime, I'll be able to get a lot of cycles, but uh, so far so good. There's the power test. Uh, this thing so far is delivering the goods. Thanks for watching guys.